Hi, uh, welcome back to another tutorial. Uh, we've been getting a lot of uh, email about people asking how to connect the iPad to your Mac in order for you to be able to use TouchOSE. And I've been trying to explain it by text, but it's kind of difficult. So, <laughs> so I guess we're just gonna do a little quick video tutorial. So, the way you do it, you do it is like it's better if you do create your own ad hoc network so this is how you do it you click on this network so just follow it along and just give whatever name you want so usually I just go with this channel 11 to avoid any conflict you can add password if you want to but since it's at home so I couldn't be bothered with it so just create a network and now that your network's created, uh, you want your iPad to join that. So you just go to your iPad and then, yeah, I assume you know how to do that. So you go on Wi Fi and then you look for that new server, whatever you name that network. So once it's connected, what you want to do is you go to this audio MIDI setup and you can actually find it here. You just do it. You go to the finder or you go to your application and it should be under utility. It's utilities. And then it should be under audio MIDI setup. Once it's open here, you can go to Windows. So occasionally it opens already, but this time it's not. So you go to Windows and you want to show MIDI windows and then you want to go to network. See, the iPad should pop out already right here. See, it's already popped out. You can rename this. Uh, in here, I rename iPad so you can connect it easily with your with, with your tractor just to make sure, you know, so there's no conflict on your port name so I go with the name iPad so you go connect and right there your iPad should be connected and then open your touch OSC then on your core MIDI it's uh, inside your touch OSC it should say in one one out one one so that means it's connected and you click done it should load your your template in there and then you go open your tractor then you go to the tractor preference and make sure you import from here this big import not on the on the controller manager but here it's at the big import I already got mine imported so uh, right there and then you go to your controller manager and then you want to go to this device if you already import uh, the particular template it should say in here and mine's a GRV control 2.0 and then in the import make sure it's it says iPad and the output it says iPad and everything should work now there you go it's working There you go. Hope you guys can figure it out. Thank you.